All right, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Eli Joseph, and I'm from the Cardinal Hayes High School um, on the Grand Concourse, and I'm presenting to you today about heroin. Now, heroin is a very notorious drug, and although we hear all the bad things about it, we never really hear about how it really came about. So we're going to analyze that today. All right, <clears throat> there are a lot of drugs in the world today. Some are very famous, some are very infamous, and some are both. One drug that is both popular and in the view of the addict and unpopular in the view of, the, um, of healthy America is heroin. So we're going <clears> to <throat> explore a few topics here, briefly of course. We're going to talk about what is heroin, where did it come from, how is it used, who or which persons are credited with its creation, what are the effects, and finally, is it a treatable affli affliction? Is it something that we can cure or is it something that, I mean, is, that, is it um, an addiction that we can cure? Or, will always leave residual effects. So question number one, what is heroin? Right, the technical definition for heroin, it's a highly addictive drug, illegal. It's used by millions of addicts around the world. Um, okay, it comes from the poppy plant, and another a cousin of the heroin is morphine, and morphine is painkiller um, medication. So people who overdose on morphine, that's the cousin of heroin. Um, it comes from this plant down here called the poppy plant, and that's the uh, chemical formula for that. Like our chem students and our bio teacher in the back could probably elaborate on that more. Um, it's this it's plant, it's refined to make morphine, and then it's like in chem labs and stuff, it's made into heroin. It's um, one of the most powerful known semi or non-synthetic painkillers. Um, non-synthetic meaning that it was not created, it's made naturally in nature. All right, where did it come from? It comes from a lot of countries all over the world. It comes from Afghanistan, China, borders of Iran, Mexico, and it grows best in warm, dry climates. And they're often grown by farmers who are looking to make a little extra profit just to get by. Because remember, the small agricultural farmers, they don't really make a lot. So they need to have a method of making a little bit more. So this is where they get into drugs. <clears throat> And then after, like in the previous picture, you saw the plant with the little bits of um, white sap oozing out of it. Yeah, that's, they collect that. And then they, it's bought by a refiner. That's someone who makes it into the actual heroin. And then they take it to the morphine refinery. All right. And then after they're refined, that's when then they're smuggled into the United States. <clears throat> All right, how's it used? It can be used in a lot of ways. All right, you can snort it, you can smoke it, or you can inject it. That's when, when you snort it, you basically put a little bit, you'll put a little bit of heroin down on to a little piece of paper. You take a straw and you put straw on your nose and you just like that. That's how it goes. When you smoke it, simply roll it. I don't know, you can, you can roll it up, put in a little piece of paper and then you inhale it into your lungs. And finally inject and that's simple. You just take the heroin, you, you can either inject it under the skin or you can inject it into a vein. Which persons are credited with its creation? All right, this guy, his name was Charles Romney. I meant Romney Elder Wright, and he cre he was credited with creating heroin in 1844. And um, he was an English chemistry and physics researcher at St. Mary's Hospital Medical School in London. And he was he was noted as the first person to synth synth um, synthesize heroin in 1874. All right, um, he was a lecturer on chemistry in St. Mary's um, Hospital Medical School in London, and he synthesized it in um, 1874. What he was actually trying to do was find a non-addictive alternative to morph morphine. And once again, morphine is a painkiller. And this is a side note. He, he doesn't remind you of anyone, does he? It's like this beard doesn't look familiar. To you. I'm just saying. All right. Next one. All right, now what are the effects of heroin? The drug heroin has a lot of effects, and they all vary from person to person because we all know that no two people are alike. So, I mean, are exactly alike. So, according to the Foundation for Drug Free, or Drug Free World, which is it's an organization um, devoted entirely to finding, I mean, call, um, eradicating drugs from our society, there are long and short term effects to heroin. Short term effects you have your rush. Like you guys know, like let, let's see, you, we've all been on a roller coaster before, right? You know that feeling that you get as you're plummeting down the scope? It's similar to that. Um, your breathing gets slowed, and your 
speech might get slurred. Um, you have clouded mental functioning, nausea and vomiting, sensation drowsiness, and hypothermia, which is a condition where your body temperature drops way, before the no way below the norm. And then you can even get coma or death due to overdose. And usually heroin takes place within, I mean, heroin, the effects of heroin begin to affect you within hours. These are, so the rush is usually the most positive of it. And these are the more, the more negative. But the thing about, the most dangerous thing about heroin is the addictive powers. It is extremely addictive, and as soon as you take it, you're automatically gonna wanna cre um, crave more. And there's something else that comes into play called withdrawal. And you have the long-term effects. And this is, this is where it begins to suck. Bad teeth, inflammation of the gums, constipation, always using the bathroom, cold sweats, itching, weakening of the immune system, coma, respiratory Ill illnesses, muscular weaknesses, and re reduced sexual capacity and long-term impotence in men. That's why guys shouldn't do heroin. Um, menstrual disturbance in women, so it affects both sides, and it goes so on and so on, and one, one of the worst ones is insomnia. And this is what they say about the long-term effects. The effects on the body from the continued use of this drug are very destructive. Frequent injections can cause collapsed veins and can lead to infections in the blood vessels and the heart valves. Tuberculosis can result from the general poor condition of the body. Arthritis is another long-term result of heroin addiction. The, hero the addict lifestyle where heroin users often share their needles leads to AIDS and other condition, con contagious infections. It is estimated that of the 35,000 new hepatitis C2, that's liver disease, infections each year in the United States, over 70% are from drug users who use needles. And as we see, as we saw, heroin, one of the main ways in, to ingest heroin is through needles. Now, finally, the last question, is it a treatable affliction? Um, there are many types of treatment options that can be administered in order to help treat an addiction to heroin, and this includes these type of drugs. Hold on. Those drugs here. Methadone, buprenorphine, sorry, um, naltrexone, and nal um, naloxone. And it usually begins once the heroin user finally admits he has a problem, goes to treatment, and these treatments usually help to minimize the effects of heroin and slowly lead the user to stop using it. It's like kind of a downward slope. They don't just stop using it because that, that actually causes a negative effect. Just slowly, slowly just stop using it. These are the sources. All right, and although heroin is a drug that started out with good intentions, it ended up as, it, it really ended up on a negative note. But it's good to know that a person addicted to heroin has the opportunity now that, well, a person who's addicted to heroin with the resources that we have in society today, it's easier to be able to cut off such an addiction and be able to return to regular society without a problem. This is a drug, you guys know what it does, so I advise that you pass this information on. Thank you.